in this video i want to bring in total clarity on waterfall model iterative model incremental model and the agile model in the waterfall model the project progresses in strict compartments like first we do the requirements freeze it get the approval then we get into the design phase freeze the design get the approval then we get into uh, the construction phase complete the construction then move on to testing then move on to the final release of the product so it goes like a waterfall we have the requirements high level design low level design construction testing and the release then we have the iterative development uh where we take up the requirements we start working on it then demonstrate collect feedback incorporate those feedback again iterate it again collect feedback and then towards the end you release the product that is iterative model when i do pr develop presentations typically i follow this iterative model i come out with a rough presentation show to the stakeholders i know that they are going to change it so i don't want to show them a final presentation they'll give me feedback i incorporate the feedback again show them version 2 or version 1.1 again collect feedback again the next version then you make a final final version release so that is iterative model the main thing is it is it is also a big bang single release at the end of this iterations then we have incremental model if i have 100 slides to make in the first 30 days time i complete 20 slides 100 percentage then i move on to next 20 20 slides so in five iterations i complete uh, all my slides so after every iteration i make a release so that is the incremental delivery model that means the product is incremented at the end of every increment you get something usable it can be released to the customer then agile is both incremental and adaptive some features will get over 100 percentage in one iteration whereas others get incremented by a percentage so at the end of every iteration there may be a demo or there may be an interim uh, release and towards the end we we deliver the final product so we discussed about waterfall we discussed about iterative incremental and then we discussed about agile as well now i'll take you through these things in detail in a waterfall model first we define the high level requirements then the detail requirements then the scope is baselined then we get into detail design then we get into construction then testing and the release of the product this looks like a waterfall highly compartmentalized after every phase there is a sign off and a formal handover takeover and the project progresses in a series of uh stages like a waterfall then we have iterative development incremental development and agile development which is both incremental and iterative to understand this to understand this in detail uh the first thing is we need to understand the product backlog product backlog is a set of features that 
will get into the product. Now we have prioritized the features and we are saying if I release requirement 1 to 5, the customer can start using it or customer will get some value out of it. We call it as the minimum viable product or the MVP. So this is the, this is the bare minimum set of features uh, which the customer can start using or the customer can, can start selling to their customers. We call it as a minimum viable product. Now requirement 1 to 5 is part of my minimum viable product. Now if I'm following an iterative development model, I start working on all the requirements from ranging from 1 to 5. I make some progress in iteration 1, give a demo, collect feedback, incorporate those feedback into the subsequent iteration and you will see uh, the percentage completion an increase in the percentage of completion then again demo feedback again increment uh, the the the, uh, the percentage complete you work on the features and make little more progress and maybe in iteration 4 I complete all the features 100 percentage and I make a release at the end of iteration 4 and that release will have features ranging from uh, 1 to 5 which constitute the minimum viable product. So the key thing in iterative development is even if the features are iteratively, uh, they follow an iterative model, the release is always a final big bang release at the end of the final iteration. Then we have incremental development. Uh, the first iteration I take up features uh, requirement 1 and 2 and my target is to complete it 100% and I do that. I make a interim product release to the customer which constitute 100% of requirement 1 and 2. Then in iteration 2 requirement 3 is 100% completed. Then we make a product release which comprises of requirement 1, 2 and 3 100%. Then requirement 4 100% I complete in iteration 3, make a product release which comprises of requirement 1, 2, 3 and 4 100%. And the final iteration requirement 5 is completed 100% and we make a major product release uh, at the end of the fifth iteration. So that is incremental development. At the end of every iteration, you make an interim product release. Then we have uh, the Agile model, uh, which is both incremental and iterative. So requirement 1, I am I want to complete 100% in iteration 1 and requirement to 80%. Then I give a demo, collect feedback and in iteration 2, I complete requirement 2 and requirement 300% uh, and then make a release of requirement 1, 2 and 3, 100%. I make an interim release here. Then in remaining iterations, I work on requirement 4 and 5 and I complete it in iteration 4 and at the end of iteration 4, we make the final release of the minimum viable product. So it is a combination of incremental and iterative. So we, dis we discussed about waterfall, we discussed about iterative development, we discussed about incremental and we discussed about Agile. Now, when to go for Agile and when to go for uh, Waterfall? Uh, if the technology familiarity is very high and the scope clarity is also very high, then it is better to go with Waterfall. If the scope clarity is very low and the technology familiarity is also very low, then it is better to go with Agile project management. And sometimes even within Waterfall also sometimes we, we try to implement some of the Agile best practices, then it becomes a hybrid kind of a model. Thank you very much.